here with my 2014 <laughs> Nissan Juke Nismo. And the CVs went bad. I drive it too hard and I cambered it out. It's in need of some love. So let's change the CVs together. And it's been through 60,000 kilometers of my abuse. And I don't treat this thing easy. If I, here's some videos. Boo, 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 boo. Video, watch this one, watch this one. And that's 2% of what I've done to this thing. So yeah, it needed CVs and that's why we're here. They were thunking, making noise, going, I like clock, 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 clink, clunk. That's not cool with me. So I got new ones, let's go. I got, let's go, let's go. Why am I still talking? Let's get to work, let's get business done. All right, so pretty much anyone here with some eyeballs can see that we are first things first, jacking this boy up, jacking this beautiful beast of a car up. The next thing you know here, the wheel, what about the wheel? Oh, it's coming off? Yeah, of course it is, because it has to if we want to gain access to the assembly of uh, spinning in the back, the spin assembly, which is what we're hoping to change up. So here we go, tire is off. Beautiful, beautiful, this is a good day. We are moving on to the rear suspension uh, up and down shaft that sucks up, that dampens the road, that makes the road like non-existent pretty much. You see a bump, the car doesn't see the bump because the, the damper dampens it. So the damper is out, it's unsecured and it's hanging loose. Next, we're gonna come up and loosen off this big ass juicy bolt. You can see this is a really good sized bolt. It's about 22 mil on the nut side. So you need something that's 22 mils. Uh, the, like a wrench that's a socket or a socket. That would be cool, wrench or socket. And bust it loose. Next thing you know, pop up top, bust that one loose also. Boom, pop, and it is out. It is out, ladies and gents. After that, there's a couple little ABS sensors to uh, like move out of the way. You just have to unclip them. I didn't film it, but anyways, we're moving along. I'm gonna give this thing a big old jiggle, the good old Shake 6000. Here you can see, oof, she just popped herself out. I didn't have to do a goddamn thing, and that is how I like my CVs when they just do all the work and you don't do nothing. Beautiful, too good. Now I'm just gonna reach in my manhandle arms here and just like juice this thing out of here and just give it the good old rip, give it the good old tuggy tug and it is out, it is out. And we are happy people, happy folks. Here I am, Woo! what is going on here? Who packaged this? Someone with cruel intentions. In case you're wondering what's in this box, let me show you. Well, I'll be darned. Who would have thought that was going to be a brand new CV axle? That is beautiful. That's some good angle chair too. I could totally install a lift kit in this thing and go about like three feet high maybe. Woo, look at that. Or lower it to the ground and drag on everything. Yeah. These things are awesome. Let's get it back in the car. Let's get this in the car. Let's get it in. Let's put it in. Let's go. I could just take all the clips and put them in reverse and show you how to put it all back together, but where is the fun in that? I'm gonna keep jacking along and finish this thing up. Bolt the shock back in, put the two big ass bolts in, the one on the bottom, 22 mil, remember him? And another 22 up on top, it might be a 21, don't quote me. And we are going to, that is actually it. Believe it or not, that is all. There really isn't much to this. Final step, pretty much torque that nut up. I would not recommend over torquing it because that could result in uh, death. Just like that, the CV is in. So all in all, it's really not that bad. The only thing you may need that you, not everybody has is the really big socket I had. I think it was a 30, it's right here, one sec. Let me check, let me check, let me check. Oh, cool. 30 millimeter, 30 mil for right here to pop off this big old nut. Well, thanks for tuning in and watching me change my CV on my Nissan Juke Nismo, Nismo. Hope it wasn't too boring, but I had fun. Hopefully you did too. Uh, tune in next week for absolutely nothing. Don't expect a video next week. There probably won't be one. Maybe the week after, but probably not. Maybe the week after that. Three weeks from now, probably. See ya. Bye-bye.